Not Not yet. Yet. Do you see the screen now? No, not yet. Can you please try again? Yeah, but... Yeah, it's visible now. Great. Thank you. You will see the, the red the background uh, page, right? Yes, it's in presentation mode. Perfect. Thank you. Very good morning, Toastmasters, uh, district leaders. Uh, firstly, I'd like to extend my congratulations to all the elected division directors and area directors for the next term. I know you all have a great responsibility over the next few months to showcase your leadership skills, influential capability to steer your clubs in your respective areas and divisions in the path of success. You all have endured me as a DCP chair in the current term and uh, you'll have to endure me for yet another term as a TLA chair. Now let me uh, get into the presentation. Now, what is TLA? I know MC Divya gave a succinct um, answer for what TLA is. But is there anyone over here who is agnostic to what TLA is and what it does? It is a university where we can uh, learn more about Toastmasters. It's a Toastmaster Leadership Institute, which takes care of uh, training, which is required for the district, and conducts training programs at frequent intervals. Right. So you all in your uh, day one of DOTP learned something or the other, right? Why did you learn that? Is it because uh, we implement mandated to be a part of the DOTP? To practice and implement. Practice and implement. Or can you say that uh, to equip yourselves to serve your area and division better, to guide your clubs to run quality meetings and have better member engagement. Can you say that? Yes. Sure. TLI, TLI precisely does the same. It takes care of all training needs of the district. Toastmasters International mandates district to promote and market both member and district training as a vital means to develop leaders. Training events are to be included in the district calendar and published well ahead of time to, before the start of the new term. All these trainings are orchestrated by the Toastmasters Leadership Institute. And uh, TLI is a part of the district security team. It comes under the program quality director umbrella. Now, who are our target audience? The district officers, obviously you, the club executive committee officers, club members. All in all, we can say that our target audience is all members of the district. Now, having said what we are and who our target audience is, now let's look at the goals of TLI. Effective training to the district officers, club officers, and members is a critical element to create a successful district. When club officers, club members are trained, it makes a member experience more positive, which leads to quality club experience and increased member retention. Without properly trained leaders at every level, districts and clubs cannot meet members' needs or introduce the benefits of Toastmasters to others. So if you see the goals, it largely orients around the officers or the members' training, giving quality member experience, enhanced club quality, membership retention, and membership building. Now, having seen the goals, Let's see what are the trainings that are in the offering for the current term. I know there has been a practice of a standard set of trainings which 
we offer year on year. So we have this officers training program, uh, which is going to be uh, under the guidance of uh, the TLI while the, we leave it to the division directors to run the officers training program, but it certainly would be under the guidance of uh, the TLI. The judges training program, so which is going to be very important for running quality uh, contests. So DTM Manju will be talking more about the judges training program uh, in her session uh, later this day. How to do club roles? This is largely to do with uh, the new members. In fact, even the experienced members can also be a part of this to understand the nuances of how a club meeting is being run and what are the various roles and how those roles can be executed. Parliamentary procedures. This was something which was introduced last year and it had a great response. We had a good amount of uh, number of people attending uh, this, these sessions since it was new. We are extending this uh, session even for uh, this year. Enhanced club quality, contest quality. So we used to uh, have these sessions under uh, the name Emergence, where uh, we would uh, have uh, four different uh, sessions for uh, the two different uh, contests uh, which we have. How to AS and IAC um, uh, contest, how to script uh, the speeches for an IAC contest, and how to um, you know have add effective humor to the humorous speech, and how to win the table topics and uh, the evaluation contest. So this is something which is uh, going to continue this term as well. Pathways. Pathways, uh, well, I know uh, the, a majority of members in the district have uh, adopted pathways and start delivering their uh, projects in pathways. Sadly, there are lots of people who are yet to understand the nuances of pathways. So for example, how to go to base camp and file their uh, uh, award or complete their uh, project. You know, this is something which we would want to have a continuous uh, session. Say, for example, we are going to be having this pathway session for every two months. So this is certainly going to be benefiting both the new members and also to the members who are uh, not wary of how to uh, file their, uh, uh, complete their projects in uh, pathways. Enhancing member experience. This is something which uh, the CGD team would uh, be driving this, uh, these sessions. Planning renewals, again, that would uh, be by, done by the, uh, the CDB uh, team. Membership campaigns, so we have uh, three membership uh, campaigns, right? Smedley, uh, Talk of Toastmasters, and uh, Peter Clock. Uh, how do you um, run better campaigns to get more members to uh, your clubs? So that's something which uh, we would be having as part of the session. Club elections. This, is all, this was also a new session which was introduced last year, and we would want to uh, have this uh, continued uh, to help clubs to run proper elections to select the club officers. Mentoring, this is also going to be a very important uh, session in which uh, we will be offering this term. Uh, we've been, we had a few sessions um, in the current term and we would want to have this extended uh, the next term as well, where we will help the members to understand the nuances of mentoring. And we will also be having workshops for uh, the uh, mentor uh, the mentors who are, uh, who are available in this district so we are introducing new trainings uh, this term uh, club coaches and club mentor training well there are several club coaches uh, who are available to revive uh, sick clubs uh, a, lot, a good number of uh, people think that uh, club coaches is to just get role players uh, for uh, meetings and help the meetings run but that's not the only case there are several uh, intricacies and nuances to uh, how an effective club coach or club mentor has to be. So this is going to be a new training which we will be introducing this term. Completing the journey and handing over. So this is also an important uh, aspect. You know, while this would be touched upon during the OTPs, you know, it does not give much of detail into um, how a proper handing over has to be uh, done by the current club officers or the district officers to the incoming uh, uh, club officers. How to evaluate club speeches. So this is also a new um, uh, training that we are going to be introducing this term. This is going to largely focus on how to evaluate club speeches basis the objective of the project or the speech. They are brand guidelines. So this is uh, going to be very important because today we get to see lots of 
flyers which are violating the branding, uh, Toastmasters branding norms. So this is to help the VPPRs and largely the club XCOM to get familiar, familiarized with the branding guidelines. And district officer training, this is going to be important. So while you are attending this, this DOTP, it's just not uh, the end. We are going to be having uh, district officer training every quarter uh, where we would be focusing on uh, training on dashboards, uh, how to uh, uh, run a council meeting, um, personality development, so on and so forth. So um, this is open for all area directors and division directors. Uh, so you would get to hear more on this uh, from us uh, as we go by. The district calendar, it's, it's packed. Now, just like the last term, we have a very packed session uh, of um, uh, across all months. Um, so if you do the math, we have for 47 DLI sessions uh, across the term. And we're also gonna have lots of district events like open house or um, you know, bringing in an international speaker and uh, deliver a speech where you would have uh, close around 20 feet. So all in all, 70 sessions for the year. We might probably include a few more bases the need from the uh, district officers or from the members, right? So it is 70 sessions uh, for now. We know in a year we have only 52 weeks, but 70 sessions we are going to be having it. So which means that we are going to be having sessions almost um, every week, right? The good part is um, we are going to be um, having sessions which will not be for longer duration. A large number of our sessions are going to be for one hour, one and a half hours, and max two hours, barring the OTP and the JTP, you know, which goes beyond uh, two hours. What we have decided uh, to do new this term is we have decided to take away the golden gable points for clubs to attend the LA sessions. Dinesh Balaji will be talking more about that. So this is a huge experiment which we are doing this term. We want members just to attend the sessions for their personal benefit and for the benefit of the clubs and not to attend sessions for Golden Gable points. So I'll give you a classic example of what happened uh, in the current term. We had a TLA session. Uh, we had sent uh, communications to the club officers uh, and also to the club members. So the flyers were uh, all uh, circulated. The registration link was sent out. Two days prior to the uh, session, we were seeing only 30 or 40 registrations. So Satish Menon said, uh, why not we include points for this particular session, Golden Gable points for attendance to the session. So the moment we put that word in the flyer and had it circulated, the next day we saw the attendance was 120. There was a huge surge in the attendance only when the members saw that this attending this session will attract Golden Gable points. So this is something a very unhealthy um, culture that uh, we don't want to have. I know this is going to be a huge experiment when you don't have these brownie points, it becomes difficult uh, to get a good attendance for uh, these sessions. But we are clear that these sessions are meant for people who genuinely want to uh, to get benefited. We've also seen people log into meetings, uh, these kind of training sessions. And at the end of the session, we would still see a bunch of people still online, though we call it that the training is over. And we try calling out to people that who are online and if they have any questions, there wouldn't be any, absolutely no sound. They would have logged in and they would have gone about uh, doing their personal work. Right? So, so these are certain things which we don't want to happen. So people, we expect people to attend the uh, trainings only for uh, getting the benefit. And in the current term, we had the feedback that several clubs were not aware of the TLA sessions and they missed out on uh, the critical golden given points. And just to accommodate them, we had to kind of have uh, additional sessions so that the clubs get benefited uh, or at least um, reach the goal of uh, getting the golden given. So this time we are going to be working very closely with uh, the PRP ensure that the flyers are sent out uh, well in advance and we are going to 
send emails to all members, not just to the XCOM. We're going to be sending emails to all members. So the, the communication was largely on WhatsApp as well. You know, while the communication would continue on WhatsApp, we also intend to send uh, emails to all members. So now, what is it that you need to do as area directors and division directors? What is it uh, that you can do to help uh, TLI and have uh, a good number of members attend uh, these TLI sessions? Appoint a uh, TLI spot for your area. You can give them a fancy title. You know, you can call them as a TLI chair for your area. Uh, you can have a TLI uh, uh, chair for your uh, division. So we have uh, a division coordinator who would uh, in turn be uh, liaising with uh, the TLA spots across all divisions to see to it that uh, they help in getting the uh, required uh, registrations. So I, I'm, I'm sure right now I would, uh, you would extend the required support to have quality sessions with a good number of uh, attendance. And I'm, I'm sure you, know, you all would have experienced uh, what would uh, be the uh, atmosphere when uh, we have sessions running with uh, 30 or 40 people when we have a district uh, which is more than 3,000 members, right? Having said that, uh, this is the TLI team that we are going to have. Uh, it's, it's a big team. Uh, we have uh, three Zoom masters considering the fact that uh, the majority of sessions are going to be online or predominantly all sessions are going to be online. So we have Pradeep, Daniel, Satish and Sharanya who are going to be taking up uh, the Zoom master role. We also have uh, three admin managers, uh, Toastmaster uh, uh, Bharat, Toastmaster Ahila and uh, Toastmaster Sanoj uh, would take care of the admin part. So admin is also going to be a vital cog for the TLI team. They're going to be uh, creating all those feedback forms uh, for uh, the speakers. They're going to be uh, maintaining a database of what all TLA sessions are happening and who are the um, uh, speakers for each of those uh, TLI sessions. Um, and more importantly, these sessions which are going to be recorded would also get uploaded to the YouTube uh, channel of the district. We have three TLA planners, um, Sai Sridhar, uh, Usaina, uh, would um, be the uh, uh, TLA planners. And then of course, Arundra HML would be the uh, TMI TLA planners. They are the ones who are going to be um, identifying the speakers, um, identifying um, uh, the MCs for each of these sessions, uh, plan, do a perfect plan to execute the TLA session uh, properly. We have but two statisticians because that is uh, the, the publishing the numbers is going to be very important. In other words, you as division directors, area directors will not be knowing as to how many people have uh, registered for a TLI session. So uh, Sri Krishnan and uh, Abhilash would uh, largely be involved in publishing the numbers uh, uh, to you so that you get an idea of how many people have registered. And you can in turn reach out to your TLI box area and division TLI box to see if they can push for more registrations. We also have uh, a Toastmaster Ramun, uh, who is going to be the division coordinator. He is the one who is going to be coordinating uh, with all your TLI box. Faihan will be the uh, PR box. He is going to be working closely with the PR team um, and to ensure that the communications are being sent uh, on time to all the members. Uh, so the, my request uh, to you is uh, identify your areas and then the division box. Maybe for me, uh, division box is more uh, important. I request to the, the division director LX to identify the your respective division TLX box and let me know their names by the end of next week. I am stopping here. Um, I would uh, be happy to take questions if you have any. Sampath here. Yes, sir. I have a question. Very serious affair, in fact. I have been uh, advocating recently, even in the mentor program, that uh, we should do these things more at the division level. I will tell you my logic. Because less than 100 people out of 3,000 plus in the district are attending your TLA events most of the time. 